Do you see that guy over there? See that old grandpa? What's he doing? He's just hanging out over there, huh? You dumb prick. Not the plant, you, the viewer. See that? Huh? You, you connecting the dots or what, huh? And this stuff is important, all right? It's not just, you know, we're not just playing tiddlywinks here, with, you know, collecting our f***ing IRAs and investment portfolios and, and you know, resumes. You know, you, you work on your uh, curriculum vitae yet? Hey, you schmuck. This is the stuff that matters. Come out here, preserve this habitat. How long has that guy been sitting there? Huh? You had a nice farina of blue wax. Those long chain fatty acids protecting him from the sun, but he's got this nice uh, cover of uh, Helietta right here in Guayacum. You know, I'm, I'm sorry. I don't mean to verbally assault you. I just, you know, just want people to focus on what really matters, you know? Like, uh, like this stuff. The worst is this civilization seeing is expendable. See those, those triffid leaves in the foreground? That's Helietta. Rutaceae smells lovely. And then there's a big old growth loaf. Who knows how long he's been hanging out there? Who knows how much the surrounding landscape has changed since he germinated from a tiny seed? And there you go. There's a nice population, old population of Coryphantha macromeris. Beautiful pink flowers when it's going off. Should be another two months. Most of these cacti, as well as the ones in the Sierra Madre, further south, tend to bloom in March. That's really when they're, uh, you know, they're getting showy, getting fancy and shit. You know, oh look at that. Look who's over there. Yeah. Here you go, old boy. Look at that. That's a grandpa for sure. Look at that guy. You got another one in the back right there. Look at it. So this has got to be all one massive underground stem because you can see it's putting out little pups, little offsets on the underside of this guaiacon. And it probably was cut 50, 60 years ago. Who knows how long ago. But it's a very healthy plant. It's very nice to see such fucking healthy lofophora here. This nice duff. It's like a mixture of gravel and then helietta, parviflora leaves, and uh, I guess some guaiacon leaves too, and cordia bassieris here, etc. This one's easy to miss, look at that. Got like nine heads, all the same stem. This is kind of nice, perfect spot apparently for a, a peyote. Native peyote nursery under this ebony right there, that direction south. They're kind of in a wash right here. So they're getting enough shade. And then uh, just a ton of little guys coming up. Actually pretty, pretty cool to see, lots of recruitment. You see that guy right over there. Big one right there, so good seed. Seems to be a bunch under there. None of them too big. There's no, you know, none of those big grandfathers we were seeing, but. There's Oligomeris linifolia. What a fucking weird plant that is. Really weird distribution on that. Knew it from the Mojave Desert. Look at that. Like right at the spill off. Look at that guy just getting a nice little ensconced in the lichen. He's not going to grow too fast because he's not getting any light, but. Probably get, I guess he gets morning sun. I guess, I guess that's, maybe that's what's nice about this spot is they get morning sun and then as the sun moves west uh, during the heat of the day, they're not getting blasted anymore. Oh shit, I didn't even see that guy. Growing right in the spillway. Yeah, what a fucking, what a great thing to see. Ebony, which of course gets massive in cultivation, but in, in habitat, you barely ever see it more than 10 or 12 feet tall. God damn, look at this. Look at these fucking guys. Oh, that's nice. This is such a healthy population. It's so nice to see something thriving instead of being destroyed. God, fucking everywhere. Look at that. That's a nice one. Look at those little guys. And two little guys right next, right beneath the other two. And there's two little ceilings right there. Whatever's got something to do with this caliche that's exposed right here, this 
calcium rich soil. It seems to really fucking benefit them. I don't know. Who knows? You see this? These these are all these just sprouted probably. See how they're like a dark green? They don't have that farina yet. This is certainly all the same plant. These are just stems. Yeah, that's just a stem connected. And uh an offset connected to the same underground stem. 